Hi, I'm Jennifer Palmer. I work in the area of unmanned aircraft systems in aerospace division. And my role involves research on a number of different activities, essentially supporting soldiers through providing them with eyes in the sky. I have a number of different research activities. Um, the two main ones at the moment are on tactical unmanned aircraft systems, or UAVs, as they're sometimes called. And by tactical, I mean unmanned aircraft systems that are the wing, where the wingspan is about two to say five meters in size, all the way down to the very small size, the so-called micro air vehicles or MAVs, which can be as small as 100 to 150 millimeters in total dimension. In the lab, we use a number of different experimental techniques. We create flappers that we can test on the bench top as well as in our wind tunnels. DSTO has um, extensive wind tunnel facilities, so we can take advantage of those. Many of our defense clients are interested in utilizing unmanned aircraft systems for various missions, both uh, over land, over sea, and obviously um, at very high altitudes, which is of interest to the Air Force. If our long range research proves successful in these areas, we would be able to support defense with acquisitions they might make in the future, as well as to provide novel capabilities that might go into commercialized systems in the future that they would be able to purchase. I think the main advantage of being at DSTO for this kind of project is having the defense context, as well as the fact that we can call on our international partners. Canada, the United States, the UK and New Zealand have all partnered together under the Technical Cooperation Program to enable us to work together on all of these systems. So I think really the advantage of being at DSTO for this kind of research is having access to researchers around the globe working on similar problems.